Hey, this is 1001 Investing Channel. We are here with tips and secrets about investing. So please pay attention to this audio. Two ways to retire We can go about this retirement in two different ways. We can sell all of our stock in Apollo, worth about $1 million and use that to finish paying off our mortgages, traveling the world, and visiting our children. Or we can keep our money in the company and skim what we need from the top to live during retirement. Which way is better? Scenario 1. Sell all of Apollo. When we sell the stock, we'll pay long-term gains tax on the million and end up with roughly $850,000. Then I suppose we might invest in a government bond at 4% and we'll have $30,000 per year after tax to live on. This is how someone not tuned into rule number one would retire. Since we play by the rule, we know we can invest our retirement money without fearing loss, so why would we sell 100% of Apollo Group as long as it continues to be wonderful and priced by Mr. Market at or below sticker? Why not keep the million dollars growing at 15% and live on the annual gains? Apollo stock is going to go up with its equity growth, and its equity is going up at 15% a year, so at the end of the year, the value of our Apollo Group stock will, in theory at least, have appreciated 15%. Where else can you get 15% or more? Certainly not in a government bond. Obviously, this assumes Mr. Market is rational, which, as we know, he isn't all the time. In the real market in any given year, the price of Apollo stock could be far above or below the 15% increase we expected. For a retiree, those ups and downs could create an emotional roller coaster. I'll show you how to solve that problem in the next chapter. For now, however, let's assume Mr. Market does get it right enough for this example to be true on average. Scenario 2, sell only what we need for living, and keep Apollo compounding our money. At the beginning of that year, we had $1 million of Apollo Group stock and it continued to grow at 15%, so by the end of the year we have $1.15 million of Apollo Group stock. If we sell just those gains from that year, or $150,000 worth of stock, and pay long-term gains tax of 15%, we have $128,000 after tax to live on. Two scenarios set up with the same amount of money, yet two entirely different outcomes. With the exact same amount of retirement money at the Start, $1 million in stock, a rule number one investor is living on $10,000 a month while another millionaire, who cashed out of Apollo and bought a T-note is trying to get by on $2,500 a month. This little compounding example highlights one of the great and wonderful benefits of rule number one investing. After a few years, our wonderful rule number one business is compounding all of our money, including our gains, over the years at such an enormous rate that, even starting with a small amount of capital, we'll be able to live very well off our investments in a very short time. Think of the advantage that gives us over owning a real estate apartment complex. After I pay all the management costs of the apartment complex, the maintenance costs, insurance, and the mortgage, the money I have left over is mine to spend, the equivalent of earnings in a business. But I can't reinvest this money in this apartment complex very easily. I have to go find another real estate investment that's just as good as the first one. And I have to do that with all the gains I'm making. On the other hand, a wonderful business will reinvest my earnings for me and give me back an ever-growing return on my investment. Can you imagine just sitting there retired and watching a $10,000 investment you made 20 years ago handing you $150,000 per year with zero work on your part? Nirvana in Retirement In a perfect world we might find Nirvana, but in this world businesses tend to have problems reinvesting our money at a high ROIC, as competitors learn how to cross the moat, entire industries get wiped out by new inventions, and wars and economic crises can crash the market for long stretches. 
And so nirvana with just one wonderful business is a hoped-for but seldom achieved ideal. What do we do? The answer, sell. Yes, sometimes it's time to sell. But when? Thanks for watching. I will upload a video every day with tips and solutions. So, for more please like and subscribe, is free. Bye bye.